Hello, hello, Rob here from robshealthdrive.com. It's Sunday, I'm in Phnom Penh. Found a wonderful beach club to hang out because Phnom Penh is in the, in the country, in the middle of the country, not on the beach like Bali. So anyway, it's been a while since I put out a video because I've had a few issues. Phone got stolen here, I had to get a new phone. This camera isn't perfect, it's a bit blurry, but that's okay. Got a nice, nice burger, bacon, blue cheese, and salad lunch with lots of olive oil. So that's wonderful. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting time. Um, people miss me in Bali, it seems, including my ex wife there. Well, we weren't really married uh, civilly, we were married by a religious court, which is a bunch of rubbish anyway. So, you know, it's funny, these people still go around talking absolute crap about me and um, they take pleasure in doing so because they are crazy schizophrenic narcissists. Now, as a person there who I used to well, I own a business with 25% of Beach Garden Organic Ch uh, Kitchen and you, I won't mention his name, but uh, you, can, you can probably figure out who my partner is, who stole money from me, um, you know, a lot of money. $15,000 to go on a, on a vacation to California from the invested money that I put in, $50,000. And then another 20 million to go into quarantine in the Shanghai Hotel in Jakarta. Because his, 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 his lordship had to have luxury, which I paid for. He took, it, he, he took that money from the, company, from the company's uh, income the day before payroll. So he didn't have enough money to pay payroll. So that's what this guy did to me. Then he fired me illegally because he started claiming that I was dr drunk and harming the company, which, which was not true at all. Quite the contrary. He's the one that's always drunk very drunk all day long and he's very very horrible oh fat drunk nasty person anyway so uh, meanwhile i figured everything out i i'm still the commissioner the 25 percent shareholder commissioner and supervising commissioner in fact i supervise the board of directors including him the director he cannot make any decisions or anything without my say so i'm the supervisor of the company. I didn't know that, it's in the company deeds, until I found the company deeds with my lawyer. Um, they had withheld them from me, so the withholding in itself is um, fraudulent, because they didn't want me to know the, the information. But anyway, I got it now, and it's gone to my lawyers. My lawyers have sent a letter telling him to audit the company. Thank you very much. Thank you. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper you don't have? Yeah, no? Okay, thank you, sorry. Yeah, it's got my sauces delivered for my burger. Anyway, so he's been informed, he's, we've, we've subpoenaed him, saying that he has to uh, give, us a, give us an audit within two weeks. Of course, he's not complying, so now I have the option to fire him. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fire him, because I can. I'm the only one in the company who can fire him. He cannot actually fire me. It says so in the company deeds. And that's something he doesn't still understand because he's a narcissist. He's a narcissist and he, he goes around instead saying that I owe people money in Bali. I owe people money for rent, food and so on. And it's just a bunch of rubbish. And he keeps repeating this to himself, several other people. He gets other people to repeat it. He's even had other people, friends of his, contact friends of mine and claim this. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, the amount of shit that's coming out of this guy's head and mouth, it's just stunning. I owe nobody money, nothing. He owes me $75,000 now in the meantime, because of course I haven't been paid my salary uh, of $1,700 since May 2021. So a long time. Um, just about $12,000, $13,000. So it's just a crazy situation, you know, but it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm working away hard. I'm working really hard on my writing. I've just published a great ebook about, it's called The Ultimate Guide um, uh, to Weight Loss, Health and Fitness. And it's great, it's a 70 page ebook. It just gives you all the information you need to be successful at weight loss, get strong and do it yourself without gyms, without a bunch of supplements and rubbish, you know, all naturally. Uh, writing my articles every day on medium.com, great, portfolio there now great library I've built same with my blog robshealthcrunch.com and coaching people here in in Cambodia right now I'll be staying here for a few months and I'll be heading to Thailand for a month or so and then I plan to go to Europe to spend the summer up until September October which will probably be in Spain in Mallorca anyway so that's an update from me 
I'm having a happy Sunday here in my new home Phnom Penh at the moment and I look forward to putting out a lot more YouTube videos like this um, and being well, being in touch, letting you know how things are going and showing you lots of healthy things I do and food and lifestyle and uh, life lessons and, and all so on and so forth. Anyway, have a great Sunday. Rob, robshealthcrunch.com. Go there. Go there, go there, go there. Okay, it's great stuff.